Hey what's going on everyone my name is Daniel here and today we have the DJI's Osmo Mobile 6 which is a gimbal. Today we're gonna unbox this and we're gonna tell you how to connect your phone or any other device to the Osmo Mobile. We're gonna unbox this, connect it and then we're gonna tell you its entire functionality and feature set in this video. So be sure to watch the video till the end and then let's get to the unboxing. Now we have the package of the DJI's Osmo Mobile 6 right in front of us. You can see the package itself is very high quality. The features are written on the back of the device here. We have some tutorials like pictures and stuff at the, back, at the downside. We have the serial numbers and all that kind of stuff. Let's get the knife and let's start to chop into the box itself. Now firstly with the knife we're going to gently remove the plastic film on the box itself and then we're going to unbox the entire Osmo Mobile after that. Now I can say that the plastic peeling on this entire box is very premium feeling and the overall unboxing experience is very premium. However, it's a bit minimal feeling which is a bit better for, you know, the environment and all that kind of stuff. But the entire unboxing is very, very premium and very mature. Now after you open the box of the Osmo Mobile 6, the first thing that we see is this lid right here that I assume is going to contain some manuals and all the paperwork that is required to use the Osmo Mobile 6 so we're just gonna take a look at it but maybe let's just take a look at what's other inside the box so the first thing that I see here is this clamp that I think is going to be used to connect your phone to the gimbal it's very high quality it, it's got that weight and all the engravings on both sides of the clamp Alright, so the second thing that we're going to see is this stand. I think this stand is going to be uh, connected to the Osmo Mobile through the bottom or anything. We're going to put it to a side right here. And there we have the gimbal itself. Let's take it out. The gimbal is very high quality as well. It's also got that weight of high quality and premium stuff. So we're going to put that to a side. Let's see what else we have. This is just a silica packet to keep things nice and dry. And these are, I think, some pieces of rubber that you can put on your phone's side rails. So when your phone is connected to the Osmo Mobile, it doesn't get scratched on the side rails and aluminum frames for people. So yeah, that's some. Let's put the packet away now. Let's start to unwrap all of these one by one. Let's we'll start with the Osmo Mobile itself. So we're gonna take out this peel. It's very tightly packed okay so let's take it out of the packaging now and whoa i think my initial impressions are that this thing is heavy and it's very very premium and the fact that it is matte black it looks way way more professional than i initially thought it would so let's put it to the side and let's now unwrap the stand that goes right beneath the Osmo Mobile so yeah I don't know why but the packaging on this stuff is very hard to get out so here we are this stand also is very high quality and it's also matte black I, I wish that the stand would have a different defining color but I think that you know it kind of matches I get the idea that you know sometimes you have to match the parts for consistency but I think it should be a little lighter all right so now let's just take a look at what's inside this case and i think it's just gonna be manuals and pamphlets and all that kind of stuff so let's just get it out first and here we are okay so i think we have got a case for the osmo mobile and this is this is actually good this stuff and we got you know regular manuals let's take a look at them uh yeah they're not there are no stickers or anything like that but it's just manuals yeah pretty much expected pretty standard stuff i'm gonna put that to the side we also got the qr codes to download the applications the entire casing 
itself is very high quality as well now let's put all of this stuff to a side let's see if we have any more stuff yeah i think we've got a cable let's take a look at the cable i really expect it to be usb-c and not lightning or anything like that and yes it is usb-c which is a great news so yeah we're gonna put everything to side and let's see what we have all got so this is all the stuff that we've got let's try to open the osmo mobile now so this is how you open and as soon as you open it turns itself on and it aligns itself but because there's no phone attached there's no camera attached most of the time its orientation is going to be a little you know off so let's take a look at the cover yeah, it's very high quality let's take a look at the stand we're gonna open it for once and yeah this is gonna go right beneath the osmo mobile so that if you want to use it as a tripod you can do that and finally we have got the clamp through which you're gonna you know connect your phone to the osmo mobile it's it's still very heavy and uh the fact that it's very clingy to your phone so i think it's gonna get a little scratchy to your you know railings of the phone Firstly, before even turning on the Osmo Mobile 6, you have to put your phone into the clamp and then connect the clamp to Osmo Mobile. Now first you have this little dot on the clamp and then you have this little dot on the connector. You have to align both of these and then it snaps right in. And after that, you have to hold this button. It gives you a green light which means it's connected. Now you can see it's uh in focus and it's all aligned now if you want it to go into portrait mode or landscape mode just double press this and then it'll go into portrait mode now before we connect this is not uh fully connected to the osmo mobile it's partially connected due to the clamp in the back but if you want to fully connect it all you have to do is go to the dji memo app And after you go into the DJI Mimo app, you have to click the device option. Now once you click it, you're going to have to enable Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and enable our Bluetooth. And here it's searching for the device it wants to connect to. And then just select the device you want to connect. Now this is the default user interface of the Osmo Mobile. Now here we have a lot of options we have a lot of camera modes and all that kind of stuff here is where this entire gimbal shines now first things first if it gets a little out of focus just like that all you have to do is double tap the button at the back and then it automatically adjusts to the right place and then you have to double tap this into go into landscape or portrait mode now this button this is the record button by the way or the press and play button you're gonna have to touch this once and then it starts the recording okay now that your phone is in landscape mode we can use the focus you can already see the gimbal mode stabilizing it now first if you want to uh let's say get into a focus or if you want to track a certain object let's say if i want to track that lamp over there all i have to do is drag and then it's it has this lamp in focus and then at the back the button i'm gonna have to press and hold and then as soon as i move it 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 changes its orientation and then keeps the lamp in the frame that is so cool even if i change the orientation of the handle the overall neck of the osmo mobile stays in place now if i let go then it still is in a bit more focus but it's not as long as it should be now if i even if i flip it it stays in focus and when this handle tries to get into the way of the camera like when it tries to get into the frame it just completely flips the phone to keep the frame clean
now we also have a couple of stabilization options right here now firstly if we press this button once and then it's in full mode now we can use the joystick to move right left or up or down you can see the phone moving all across the place now if we press this button one more time it's in spring shoot mode which means that now it doesn't move the phone's orientation but it moves the frame up and down like or spin it or whatever and then we have the follow mode as usual it follows a subject you can you like drag and drop a subject and then it does that now the last one is the tilt log which means that it just locks in the handle of the Osmo Mobile now we also have this the crown at the bottom now it is used to manually focus or to zoom in and out of objects like right here you can see it can zoom in up to 8x even though the phone's default camera can zoom up to 10x but here if we tap it one time then it becomes then it becomes a manual focus which means you can either focus on close-up objects or you can focus on background objects now if we tap that one more time and it becomes a normal zoom slider once again other features of this as well like if we tap this a single time then it switches to the front camera now if we tap this again it switches back into the back camera as well if we tap this three times then it basically just changes the camera mode you can see that it changed from the video mode to the normal photo mode now if you want to take a photo or start a video or stop a photo or video anything you can just tap this button and right now we were in the photo mode so it just took a photo if we change into the video mode and then just press that again it starts the video and then we're gonna double press that to align this and then now it's completely in action and yeah that's about it that's about how the osmo mobile 6 is completely operated now we're going to use this in later on videos of course we're going to use this in day-to-day -day vlogging and other uh tech you know videos and other stuff so if you really want to see this in action or outdoors then we're gonna make a lot of other videos as well so be sure to like the video and subscribe the channel for more content like this